Greetings, fellow Whovians. Who being Queen here? Hope you had a happy Who year. Um, of course, New Year's Day was the premiere episode of Series 12, Spyfall Part 1. And then on the 5th, we had Spyfall Part 2. So, hope you enjoyed those episodes. And, well, today we're going to finish looking at the two-parter from last week, Daleks in Manhattan, with the final part, Evolution of the Daleks. So... Here we go. After the creation of the hybrid Dalek human, the Tenth Doctor confronts the cult of Scaro and helps Martha and Frank escape. As Dalek Sec begins experiencing emotions, Dalek Khan and Dalek Jast discuss their lack of confidence in him, hinting that a change of, change of command may be needed. The Doctor and Martha return to Hooverville, which is attacked by the Daleks. <clears throat> Although Solomon is killed, Dalek Sek orders a doctor to be brought to him alive. <clears throat> at the Dalek lab, at the Empire State Building, the doctor learns that the Daleks are planning to combine their DNA with humans and create more hybrids. The process requires more energy that can be generated with the technology of 1930, so the Daleks plan to use gamma radiation <clears throat> from a solar flare. The doctor agrees to help once he realizes that the human subjects are already brain dead and cannot be saved otherwise. He also offers to take the new hybrids and the Daleks to new planet in the TARDIS so they can start over, in which Dalek Sek agrees. Daleks Khan, Jost, and Faye stage a mutiny, chaining up Dalek Sek and declaring him a traitor. The Daleks then decide to replace the human DNA completely with their own. The Doctor groups with Martha, who has analyzed the building plans of Frank. Martha tells the Doctor he must remove the Daleganium panels on the mast of the building to stop the energy collection. The Doctor drops his sonic screwdriver before finishing in time and ends up holding the mast as the strike hits. The energy flows down the building, awakening the new hybrids. The Doctor returns to the theater with the human Dalek army following them in the sewers. <coughs> in the theater, the Doctor pleads with Daleks, Faye, and Jast to listen to Dalek Sek and let him help. They refuse. Attempting to kill the Doctor, but Sek steps in between and sacrifices himself. The Daleks order their army to kill the Doctor, but find that the humans are questioning orders. By exposing himself to the Gamma Strike, the Doctor caused some of his Time Lord DNA to transfer to the human shells. The army turn on Faye and Jast, killing them. Dalek Khan activates the termination sequence to kill the rest of the army. Upset by this act of genocide, the Doctor returns to the Dalek lab to face Khan, but Khan escapes once again via the emergency temporal shift. Ah, oh, I was so close. But, oh well then. Anyway, let's look at some outside references here. Happy Days are here again by Milton A. Ager and Jack Yellen is heard on the radio. Martha makes a reference to the 1957 film The Prince and the Showgirl, starring Marilyn Monroe and Laurence Olivier, adapting it to Laszlo and Tallulah's situation as the pig and showgirl. When the doctor arrives in the lift, he says, First floor, perfumery, in the manner of a department store lift attendant. The, met the method of announcing both floor and departments found thereon is also used as the basis of the theme music to the BBC situation comedy Are You Being Served? Mrs. Brennan typically used the phrase ground floor to describe what Americans would call the first floor. This line is an um, a sensible Americanization of the Are You Being Served theme's first verse, which begins which begins with the words ground floor perfumery. And now on to the production. The theater sequence was filmed at the Park and Dare Theater Triorchi. Sorry if I mispronounced that. Scenes set at the Hooverville Shantytown were filmed at Butte Park, Cardiff. Some second unit filming for the story was done in New York City. It primarily consisted of static shots of landmarks and landscape views, many of which were digitally altered to remove architecture created since the, sto since the story's setting. This constitutes the second time any filming for Doctor Who has been conducted in America. The 1996 TV movie, although produced in, Vanco in Vancouver, Canada, included establishing shots of San Francisco filmed by a second unit. An earlier story, The Two Doctors, 
was originally to have been filmed in New Orleans, but the budget of the time would not allow it. The presence of the Daleks in this story was reported by the News of the World on November 12, 2006, and confirmed by the BBC in late December. So overall, as a conclusion to Daleks in Manhattan, it's alright nonetheless, so yeah. So overall, I give Evolution of the Daleks 3 Sonic Screwdrivers out of 5. Well, tune in next week as we take a look at The Lazarus Experiment. Well, hope you enjoyed the review, and if you did, be sure to give it a like, comment if you have anything to say about this, <clears throat> also share it around, and if you haven't yet, then be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified about when I upload videos. And if you want to help me make better videos, then be sure to check out my Patreon page, link is in the description. So, until then, this is Sophie and Queen saying, Oh my giddy aunt! When I say run, run! I prefer the polarity of the neutron flow. Would you like a jelly baby? Fantastic! Along Z, Geronimo! Botes are cool, Fezzes are cool, and Stetsons are cool. <laughs>